so far, you have learned what is a web API, what it stands for, and why use web APIs. Next, you learned about the ASP.NET Core web APIs, the .NET Core SDKs, the runtimes, and created a new project using Visual Studio. You had a look at the default files of a new project and pushed that project to a new GitHub repository. Now, it's time to get your hands dirty and start writing some code. For that, you'll create your first API and you'll learn about the data models, what they are and how to add a new one to a new project, the Entity Framework Core database context, you'll learn how to configure Entity Framework Core in an ASP.NET Core web API project and how to build your database context file, which you will use to interact with your database. Then next you'll learn about the migrations and seeding your database and then you'll have everything set up to add the most important part of this course, which is the actual work of manipulating data. You'll learn how to add data with an HTTP POST request, how to get data with an HTTP GET, how to update data with an HTTP PUT, and how to delete data with an HTTP DELETE. So, let's get started.